Okay, good morning my beautifuls. Right, so today I'm going to test out the Atomy BB Cream versus the Chanel CC Cream. So I've mentioned already about the differences and what I've heard and the ingredient list and so forth. And now we're just going to put it to the test. So I'm literally going to do half my face with this and then the other half with that. So we're going to check in throughout the day and see how it wears. If I'm going to look like an idiot, well, I guess that's the sacrifices I have to make. So without further ado, I'm just going to go straight into it. And I thought the best way to try it out is literally on clean skin. So I've put on my moisturizer, no SPF because these does contain SPF. I feel like they do, they're supposed to. Well, this has been labeled SPF 30, um, although it's 50 in other countries, but in Australia we have a really strict SPF rule. Um, this one doesn't actually have any SPF indications on the packaging, but I believe usually BB creams have an SPF, so if I don't, then I'm going to have one side of my face darker than the other. What I do. Alright, so um, I'm going to use my fingers to apply because that's probably the most accurate because brushes or sponges, they may kind of like alter the way it goes on or whatever, so I'm just going to go ahead and just use my fingers. Um, actually, someone did tell me that it's better to apply with fingers with this um, Atomy BB Cream because it's like a padding motion. So the color kind of goes on really gray, but apparently it adjusts to your skin color. So this is slightly different to the Chanel CC Cream because the Chanel CC Cream comes in three colors. It comes in at number 10, 20, and 30. So it kind of already begins with color, which is also one of the reasons why I'm a little bit skeptical on why they feel like these two are the same product because they are from supposedly the same manufacturer. I'm actually not surprised, although a lot of products say they're made in France, they're probably in terms like in terms of uh, cushions, they're probably all from Korea. Um, but this one actually specifically says it is made from France, so I don't know. That's why I'm testing out this theory because who knows? Who knows? At the end of the day, it's all about how it wears. I mean, if the Anatomy BB cream works on your skin better, why not use it? It's cheaper. Um, or if the CC cream works on your skin better, then use a CC cream. So at the end of the day, it's all about like how it wears, not the same, so not necessarily like the packaging or the claims and whatnot, because that's what we're testing out. So as you can see, it kind of has turned to um, a slightly more skin tone color as opposed to the starting grayish uh, cement color. So I'm pretty happy with how the color has adjusted to my color because I don't want to walk around with like a gray cement face, honestly. Um, that is kind of freaky looking. So, um, I think this coverage is okay for a BB cream. I wouldn't want to go any thicker because you still want your skin to feel like skin, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so now for the CZ cream. I got the color 20. I'm usually a 20 in like winter times and then 30 in summer. But I haven't really gotten any sun lately, so I feel like I've been 20 like this whole year. Um, this, apparently the new CZ cream have been reformulated just recently. Um, so I don't know whether this will compare to the old CC cream. Um, I have the old CC cream as well, so we can probably do a comparison between the new and the old because the only evidently different t a feel, like you know, without putting on the skin and wearing all that stuff, is that the old CC cream has a thicker texture, so it does cover um, a lot more than say maybe the current one. The colors are slightly different. Um, it's a lot more warmer this time around. Before it was a lot more, I guess, cooler tones. I don't know. And another thing was, um, apparently they added in more antioxidants or something like that, or something like that. It's like an ingredient in here that's it's supposed to be like really good and natural for you. So the, I mean, when you update formulas and stuff like that, you, you are going to experience some sort of textural difference or color difference. I mean, it's really, really natural to do that. So I'm not surprised. I don't, actually, I'm not 100% sure if the claim is that this BB cream is the same as the old CC cream or the new one. So I'm just gonna test it with the new one first. And if there is a difference, we can test it with the old one too, just to be sure. But you can't really get the old ones anymore because they are 
being replaced. So it's really no point of testing the old BB cream, sorry, the old CC cream when the only the new CC cream is available. So I've also just used fingers on the side and as you can see when I first applied it, it was really yellow, um, almost like three shades lighter than my natural skin color. But then as you like blend it out, it, it's okay. Like it's not yellow anymore. So just from looking on camera, tell like this side has got a slightly better, smoother, even toned coverage, whereas I feel like it's a little bit patchy on this side. Um, you can still kind of see bits and pieces of my discoloration and redness, but it could be just the way I'm applying it, honestly. So what I normally do is I do put powder on top of my um, uh, BB creams or CC creams just to sort of set everything but for the sake of this experience I am not going to put anything on top I am going to however put a little bit of brows on and some eyeliner and lip balm like the usual stuff but I'll leave my face bare and we'll check it again in a couple of hours okay so I thought I might just quickly check in while I'm hot and sweaty and this is in direct sunlight uh, as you can see it's actually stayed on pretty well considering I had no powder on whatsoever. Um, it's a little bit sweaty. Not much of a, a huge of a like, color difference, thank God, so I didn't like a two-faced weirdo. But um, other than that, we'll check it again in the shade. Okay, so now that I'm inside the car and I can actually see what I'm looking at. Uh, oh, what's happening here? Must have scratched myself. I don't know. So this is what happens when you don't put powder on. It obviously will be more prone to like smears and smudges and things like that. If you just like touch your face a lot. Luckily, I'm the type of person that don't like to touch my face a lot, especially because I've used to have acne and I hate touching like lumpy, bumpy stuff on my face. So I'm pretty good with that. I did put a bit of blush on and um, as you can tell, brows and eyeliner. But in terms of like skin texture, you can kind of see you can still kind of see the like crevices and the ice pick scarring and things like that. Like the coverage is not like full, but like it's okay. Like this is okay for an everyday look. You don't want to look cakey and like full coverage. You want to look more natural and still look like skin. Um, luckily the color difference is not huge. So I don't look like a weirdo with like half of my face, which is kind of, I guess, another indication of why both the formulas could be the same thing because it kind of feels and looks the same, like there isn't a huge difference between the coverage or the look. I mean, this one looks slightly lighter than that one. Like this could, this side could be a little bit more heavier coverage, but that could also be the amount of product that I used as well. So we'll see how wear and tear until the end of the day. So this has just been like two hours in. Yo, what up? So it's actually like 5.30 in the afternoon. It's pretty much majority of the day has gone past. I've been running around. I've been on the computer. I've been out and about. So it's it's been a good eight hours, I guess. And as you can see, I am a grease monkey. So that's, that's probably the only major reason why I normally have powder on top of any type of foundation, whether it is mattifying or not. I just like to sort of make sure that my oils are in control and it's been like a little bit itchy in certain areas of the face so I've been trying to just stop myself from scratching so as you can probably see from just these um just from this I'm not sure if you can see but like club close if you there's like a little bit of that that redness here that popped up usually that's indication that my skin's not liking something or that's a little bit too rich um, so this area is kind of like my my like no go zone so if I break out in this area that's usually what it means so um, that could be also just the fact that it's just extra oily today and just feel really greasy and all that on this side um, I don't know if you can tell but it's starting to separate around the nose a little bit because it is actually really greasy but I feel like the color of this side looks more human than this side like this side's starting to look a bit more ashier and grayish pinkish kind of tone i don't know if you can tell like there is obviously a bit of a difference between my face and neck whereas this side's actually toning more of like a skin yellow base tone which is me because obviously i'm asian but like i feel like when it was first on it was like oh my god and then it kind of plain why i 
You always hear what I'm filming. How long is this play? Okay. So, I feel like in terms of like current feel and look, I'm not really happy with both of them. Like this side a little bit too greasy for me. You can tell like how oily I am. You can tell it's separating on the nose. Oh great, look at that pimple right there guys just close up of my disgustingness but you can see the tone is different like this is slightly more yellow and this is slightly more pink which i don't know both not a fan of because i guess i prefer i guess if i were had to choose i would choose the yellow over the pink but it can still like see oh god there's another pimple popping up so you can tell that my skin's not liking uh, this side as much because there's like pimple here and pimple there and this side Oh, also a little pimple coming up. Maybe I'm just not liking CC creams or BB creams at the moment I have been literally wearing just tinted moisturizer and concealer That's it. Like, I don't know guys as you get older You just want to wear less if I don't have to wear makeup. I'm literally barefaced so I do go out and scare people quite often, but if I have to be a full face, I do use like a full coverage and you know go the like the whole nine yards. But day to day basis, I try to wear less. So I guess CC cream and BB cream are meant to be like less coverage and supposed to be like an everyday thing. But to me, this is currently too greasy, especially in summer. I feel like this will be great in winter and great for those who have dry or mature skin. And for me personally, I just need a little bit less and. In terms of the color wise it's great for winter but as soon as i go into summer i'm gonna look really pasty ghostly so that's just like my two cents guys i don't know maybe you guys might like it i don't know if you want to see me compare the old cc cream with the new cc cream or if you want me just to like compare this by itself i don't know let me guys know let me guys know what does that even mean let me know guys down below and here comes another plane so i'm gonna go talk to you guys later bye Alright guys, so I'm about to remove my makeup and just want to do a quick last check-in. Um, as you can see under this light, my face is greasy AF. No powder. Um, it's still the same close up as you can probably see that pimple is still there. Yeah. Not pretty. All right, so I thought I might as well film the whole removing process because um, that way you can kind of see like how both face removes on camera. I'm currently using this one. What is that? That's the quarterly. I actually quite like this. I didn't like it at first, and then I think I got it by accident at Sephora again, and I'm like, why did I buy this again? And then I'm like, I actually don't mind it. So this side is the CC cream. As you can see, it covers pretty well because the skin underneath is really red. Oh, I just, I just, I'm just really sensitive recently. Oh, it feels good to be clean of makeup. Really not a big fan of makeup recently. Just want to be barefaced, you know? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so this is basically what the color of that CC cream looks like. Now we're going to go ahead and do the other one. And this side is the Anatomy BB cream. As you can also see, the skin underneath is quite red. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and wash my face. So you can see the color difference. I don't know if you can. This side seems lighter. This side seems darker. So that's why this side was a lot more red or pinkish tone. Whereas this side was more yellow tone. I don't know. Can you actually see that? Pretty crazy. You can kind of see the ashy tone on this one and the warmer tone on that one. It's so crazy that even the makeup removing process shows the difference. But in terms of wear and feel, I feel like... They're very comparable like it can almost pull off as one face like you couldn't tell that I was wearing two different foundations right so very comparable but also slight differences